Kuridal, Chovelarus Eres Betniat. What was that? Slothian, meaning? Sit down while he announces our arrival. Now we must be tactful, boys. You do the talking. I'm a British diplomat, and if I say straight up to these people, give us the idol, it will look like heavy pressure from our government. Better you two young explorers present your case. So, who exactly are we meeting? The director of the museum and the mayor. Nothing gets done without the mayor. Hope this works. We've come a long way for it's for nothing. Can't imagine them saying no, can you? Yuck! 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 Yes. Yes, I can. Mr. Malcolm Cooper, Diplomatici Bretagne, Og Puli Anthropoliki Kinsti. Mr. Malcolm, Tobin Panegral, Mayor of Blot, welcome to our beautiful town and to our, as you see, wonderful museum. And you, the unfortunate explorers of whose disastrous expedition we read in the papers. How do you do, Mr. Mayor? Fergus McBride. Randall Foxon. May I introduce Dr. Lodor Mikalek? Director of this museum, Torutsiestai Choi. Please, let us all be sitting down. Now I understand we have something in this museum that may help you rescue your friends. That is correct, Mayor Panagral. You see, the natives of Great Essex, the Awola, they said they would let our captured colleagues, Hubert and Allen, they would let them go and return for Etimali. Clearly some sacred object, which must be the piece you call the idol. Here on the second floor by the door, so we're told. All this I know, but here is the man you must persuade. May we, Dr. Idle, uh, may we take the mick? I mean the... Uh, I... Yuck! All wrong you are with your demand. Error. We call it Idolon. Error. It is on the third floor. Error. The tribe do not want something they do not see for 40 years. Error the most gross. You will not take the Idolon because it is not yours. We understand that you must Idolon be... Idolon is not for the taking. Uh, Dr. Mikalek is adamant, I'm afraid, gentlemen. And by Slothian law, if the director does not agree to an item's leaving the museum, then it does not leave the museum. Unless... Unless? Unless the donor himself asks for it back. But the donor is our distinguished citizen, Eliam Zeprinovo. If you met him, you would know that he would never, no way, ask this. We have met him. You have met Professor Zebrinovo? This morning. In the square. And over a pot of treacly coffee, he told us that legally he could take back the idol, which he told us is two floors up. We British call that the second floor. But it doesn't matter how we number your floors. What does matter is that the professor has agreed to come here today and ask you for the idol. If you think he will come here to support your impertinent request, then you do not know. Professor Zebrinovo. Perenyesh, Professor Zebrinov. Perenyesh, Majori Panigral, Dr. Mikalek. Eliam, Bielon Idolon. Nukotoche. The director says no. Gerupul Idolon. Geruche, Spitzi. He told the door curator to fetch the idol quickly. All to plan so far? Niak Eliam, Nye Terelum Dolvo. Viole, Idolon, Murchor Prielu. Mikalek and Zebrinovo do not always see eye to eye. The professor has the last word, of course. Give us the marbles. I'm sorry? You British are never sorry. You take from Greece the marbles, and now you want to slaw the Anitola. Oh, you mean the Elgin marbles. But the Elgin marbles are certainly not yours. Just as the Adolan is not yours. Your case is crushed by my logic, and so you must leave with empty hands, brave explorers, just as you left your comrades with I savages. See. You must be understanding of Dr. Mikalek. Losing this central exhibit means for him losing a dear friend. For us, not having it means losing two dear friends. And if it's a central exhibit, why put it on the second floor? Mm, to keep it safer, I imagine. Slothian burglars are lazy. They would not climb the stairs. I myself have lived in Blot all my life, but I've never been up so high. Here, behold the idol. Are we sure this is what they want? Nyak, nyak te, Doruzzi. I am sure. Let me tell you all why. Let me tell you the story of myself and the Awola. Tell us, Eliam. Please, Pakram. I studied anthropology at the University of Skavnitz and learned about many tribes. But it was the Awola that most fascinated. A lost tribe from the time of Babel. <laughs> and then I had the opportunity to visit them. The Awola welcomed us. They let us learn their ways, their culture. All was well. Until? One day, a friendly Awolan boy took me up a hill to a rock, and in a hole in the rock was this strange wooden plaque with a haunting face. I asked if I could examine it, 
and the boy put it in my hands, saying, Kleka Ingelimende. Take, wise foreigner. So you took it? I thanked warmly the boy and took it. Well, next day the boy, he came to the camp by the boat and he said, Gebreka etamali? Which I thought a friendly greeting. I nodded and smiled and he left. Three mornings he came and then on the fourth our tents were surrounded by a troop of our walden youths. Oh, I see where the story is going. Angry youths, spears shaking angry. And then the spears were thrown and one of my team, poor Thomas, said, he was struck down. We hurried to the boat and then away. And the man who fell? Let us hope he was treated with respect. But from that time the Awala were hostile to all visitors. Years later, I realized my error. The word kelaka means take away and keep and enjoy. But the boy said kleka, take and hold, but just for a moment. I see, Eliam, and I see why the idol must be returned. What? There's a tooth here. A human tooth? A canine. It may be the tooth of the great ancestor himself. Whoops. Sorry, it was loose. What, what shall I... S Professor, you must have it analysed. We have no human DNA from these islands. It would have to be sent abroad. And I do not think Mikolek will and allow he's such... coming. Here. Idolon perdet blotna. I have phoned the president. He will not let this leave Slothia. But he will have you British leave the country... Immediately. But by law, Zebrinova has the last word. Can the president trump the law? Zebrinova has, in fact, the second last word. In the very democratic republic of Slothia, the last word is always that of the president. And the president happens to be Mikolek's brother-in-law. It is now best you leave. He may set the culture police on you. You do not want to be detained by our culture police. Commanded by Mikolek's brother, maybe. What must you be thinking? The idol which could free your compatriots now stands idle on the third floor where no one goes. Not the mayor, not even the burglars. Ah, tonight may be different. You are going up the museum stairs tonight, Mayor Panagra. Not I. Burglars may be. But aren't Slothian burglars too lazy to... The burglars may not be Slothian, and they may enter through the window by the fire escape. I will show you where. You are suggesting we steal? Do not say so. I do not want the attention of the culture police. Won't the idol be alarmed? Debriva turns on the alarms every night. Tonight, he may forget. Can he be trusted? He is my cousin's fiancé. When Mikalek finds out. The museum will not open till Monday, when the burglars will have left the country. Our mayor is so fluent in English, he forgets he is speaking it to Debriva. Professor Zebrinovo. Why not come with us? I am too old for burglary, my friend. And imagine if the culture no, no. please... No, come with us to Great Essex. But I am 73 years old. You're only as old as you feel. Then I'm over a hundred. And I do not think the Awola will be pleased to see me. They will when you come with the idol and an apology. What do you say? Can you imagine me and my stick in Great Essex? Can you imagine what Hubert and Alan are doing now? Alan will be nursing his injuries. Hubert... There's no way of knowing what Hubert's doing.